Bang & Olufsen Bioplay H95, $849. Sennheiser HD 800S, $1,699. Fostex TH909 Premium, $1,799. All these LCD 4Z, $3,995. What's up guys, Kilian here, LA-based music producer. Okay, today we're gonna be talking about the Apple AirPods Max. The question is, are these crazy things really worth $549? So I'm going to review them for you. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion, and then I'm gonna show you some really cool hacks about these things. So do me a favor and stick around. We'll be right back. Okay, so you might be wondering, why did I start the video by talking about all these crazy expensive headphones? Well, of course, you can't compare reference grade headphones with consumer grade headphones. But I bet the average person has never heard of these headphones before. So I guess $549 is not so bad now, right? You might even say these sound cheap in comparison. Well, that's not quite true. What matters is, are they actually worth the price tag or is it just Apple being greedy Apple once again? So in order to determine that, we're going to be reviewing these AirPods Max and we're gonna be talking about every aspect of these Bluetooth headphones. I've had these for a couple of months now and I have a lot to say, but I purposely kept this video relatively short because there are plenty of YouTube reviews out there that really cover these things very extensively. My review gets more to the point and I also want to take some couple of minutes to show you some cool hacks so you can learn how to make these headphones sound amazing. So let's start talking about comfort. At 385 grams, you will definitely notice right away that these are quite heavier than your average headphones. However, the mesh cloth headband really does an amazing job distributing the weight all around your head so you don't really feel the weight that much. And even compared to lighter headphones, they're not gonna create that feeling of having a crater on top of your head after wearing them for a while. However, my ears did get hot after an hour and a half of wearing them. I personally had to take them off after two hours. I just could not wear them for more than two hours at a time. Build quality is excellent, but that is expected of Apple. I really, really like that they are made of mostly metal. These headphones are surprisingly entirely modular. Not only the ear cups are easily removable, but also the headband is easily removable using a SIM card removal pin. The features are actually phenomenal in these right up there with the sound quality, which I'll talk about next. There are two buttons on top of the right speaker. One is the Apple Watch style crown dial for volume, which works surprisingly well. It's very accurate and user-friendly. You can also press down on it to press, play, pause, and double press for Siri. The other button is to switch between transparency and normal and background noise canceling. The transparency mode is unreal. It really sounds like you are not wearing anything. When you wear the AirPods Max and someone is talking to you, it sounds incredibly natural. They are so close to perfect in my opinion. The background noise canceling also works very well. They do a great job filtering out ambient noise, such as the sound of a running fan next to you or the sound of cars driving by when your window is open. I personally don't like using the background noise canceling mode uh, because they do create some pressure on your ears and I personally don't like that feeling. Others don't mind it. They also included the ability to plug your headphones directly into a headphone jack using a $35 lightning to headphone jack adapter. But of course, your iPhone doesn't have a headphone jack. So now you need that infamous $9 headphone jack back to lightning adapter to make it work. By the way, I really could not hear the difference in the sound quality between using these in Bluetooth mode and in wired mode. I tried to hear a difference and I just couldn't tell the difference. Maybe the definition of the music that I'm listening to is not high enough. I didn't listen to Wave or FLAC files. I was using streaming Spotify and Apple Music, which is you know the use case for most people. And, and I just could not hear the difference. Battery life is good, but it's not amazing. They give you about 20 hours of listening time or talk time. That part is fine, 
What disappointed me was the idle time. I personally don't put them back in the smart case, so I just leave them sitting there on the desk. And after a while, I did notice that the battery is significantly lower from one day to the next. For me, it was something like 5-10% to of battery drain per day just for letting the headphones sit there on my desk. Finally, let's talk about sound quality. Sound quality is good on the AirPods Max, but it's not great. However, I got good news for you. There is actually a way to make them sound great. But first, let's talk about the pros and cons of the default sound profile so we understand what we're dealing with here. You see, the default sound profile looks something like this. This would be the EQ graph of the default sound profile, which I'll explain in one second. You see, when you, when you have your friends check out your headphones, the first thing they ask, if they're not audiophiles, the first thing they wanna know is, how's the bass? Hey, hey dude, how's the bass? Is the bass good? Everybody wants to know, how's the bass? Well, the bass do sound great, but there is a lot more to headphones than just bass. How about mids? How about the highs? How about the overall balance? How about the overall sound clarity? How crisp are the mids? How crisp are the highs? That's what we wanna know. And how is it all cohesively balanced together? See, if you only care about bass, your music is gonna sound like this. And if you only care about mids, your music is gonna sound like this. And if you only care about highs, your music is gonna sound like this. That's why it's all about having a cohesive balance. You want a good balance of bass, mids, and highs. You don't want just good bass. Otherwise, if you only care about bass, get the Beats headphones. That's what they're for, right? They have great bass, horrible mids, horrible highs, but who cares, right? You want bass, you got good bass. If you want good bass, good mids, and good highs, now you're getting more into the AirPods Max territory, right? They have great bass, great highs. They just gotta pull up that mid just a little bit and in my opinion, it'll be perfect. So guess what? I got some good news for you. Pull out your iPhone, follow my steps here in a second and I'm gonna show you how to make your AirPods Max sound much better than how they sound out of the box. So you're gonna go to your phone settings. You're gonna go to accessibility. Then you're gonna scroll down to audio visual. Then you tap on headphone accommodations at the top. You're gonna to turn that on. You will see there are three options, balance tone, vocal range, brightness. I personally try them all. Balance tone sounds the best. So you put on the balance tone because what that's gonna do is it's gonna provide a, a nice sound boost across the entire range of frequencies and particularly gonna bring up the sound in the mids. So once you selected balanced tone, then you select moderate. You can also do strong, and I've tried it, but I felt there was a tiny bit of distortion that was introduced with the strong setting. So I personally prefer the moderate setting. So you can go ahead and select that and play your music in the background, and you can really see the difference when you turn it off and on and off and on while your music is playing, you will hear a tremendous difference. Now, if you use Spotify like me, another thing you can do is, I'm gonna load up Spotify, and you go to your um, Spotify settings under playback, and you go to your equalizer. Now, this only works on the phone. It does not work on the desktop version of Spotify because there is no equalizer on the desktop version of Spotify. So once you are in your equalizer, I highly recommend you copy this graph here that I made. Uh, you'll notice that what I did was I provided a boost across the entire sound spectrum, but I slightly pulled back the 400 hertz frequency because that's where the sound tends to get a bit muddy. So we pull that back just a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and turn on our equalizer and we're gonna really get a nice boost across the entire sound spectrum. It's, it's really gonna make a nice difference. And again, you can play your music in the background, you can turn it off and turn it on and really hear the difference. Okay, so bottom line, to make your AirPods Max sound great, you need to turn on that setting in iOS as I just showed you. 
You can use Spotify with the EQ setting I recommended, or you could just use Apple Music. Apple Music really does sound better than Spotify because of the proprietary Apple AAC encoding format that they use for their music. It's just a better sound quality compared to the MP3, even at 320 uh, kilobits per second. Oh, of course, this would not be a complete review if I did not talk about the smart case, right? So um, <clears throat> here is what I think of the Apple AirPods Max smart case. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like what you saw. Feel free to follow me on Spotify and Instagram. It's all in the video description below. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.